Seriously. On Dance Moms. You're going to be using guns in your routine. I want you to kill it. We're going to put a little bench in front of the dance studio. It's beautiful. You know everyone's going to hate you. You're a conniving bitch. Eight means eight, not nine and a half, not ten. Eight. You oh, should be so lucky to have Chloe as your student because she's a great dancer and everybody knows it except for you. That kid loved to dance. She'd have remembered that trio. Always got to keep your options open. Coming up on Dance Moms. Kendall, you are back on probation. There's a lot of studios out there who would love what she does. We are going to one of those studios. Does Abby and the moms know you came here? They have no idea. Mia, you've worked hard in ballet class. You've waited a long time for this pretty dance. Don't screw it up, kid. She's doing my routine with my costume. I wouldn't want to steal your choreography. Really? Don't carry it into the dressing room. You go home, you cry into your pillow, and you don't make the same mistakes again. Okay, now, Hollywood Vod, last week. You did an okay job. I thought it could have been better. Moving on. This week, we are going to Fire and Ice right here in Pittsburgh. Yay! And I have a reputation to uphold. It's much more difficult to walk in and compete against people you know than a bunch of strangers. Okay. Let's get to the pyramid. I hate to do this, but... Kendall, you are back on probation. That's ridiculous, Abby. What more do you want from her? Your head is distended. Your shoulders are hunched. Your rib cage is open. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? No. She doesn't make the corrections. I have been telling her since the audition about her posture, and it has not improved once. Jill, careful what you wish for. You're always demanding more special parts and attention for Kendall. Well, you're back on probation, so you got it. I can't even believe it. You know what? You should be on probation, not my daughter. Kendall is on the bottom of the pyramid. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of Jill. If I would, she would be the one that's there. Learn something, Jill. You are on my last nerve. I don't even know why I'm here. You had nothing nice to say to her since the second we got here. You know what, Abby? She does a lot right. She turns like a top. But that's what's good. I don't need to fix that. I was not surprised in the least by Jill's reaction. I was devastated by Kendall's reaction. I certainly don't wake up in the morning to intentionally hurt a child's feelings. There's a lot of studios out there who would love what she does right. And you know what, Abby? We are going to one of those studios. I'm not putting up with this crap anymore. We're done. That's it. You know what, honey? She doesn't appreciate you. I'll take you where someone appreciates you. It makes me sick to think that Abby would do this to a little girl who is working so hard. We'll go where they will treat you with respect. They'll give you great numbers. They might even let you do a solo or two. This is disgusting to me, and I'm not putting up with it anymore. It's over. I don't want to go. I love to dance. Next, Paige. You were on the top. Now you're obviously not. You couldn't remember the trio. Over and over. No, this is true. Unacceptable. Next, Brooke. Brooke, this whiny, mopey teenager crap has to stop. You are the role model. Do me a favor, just smile. Mackenzie, the tricks are stronger, they're better but you need a few ballet classes. Next, we have Chloe. Once again, nice, clean performance. Maddie, you redeemed yourself. No stupid mistakes. 
Maddie and Chloe, you know, neck and neck, same old story, different day. And, deservedly so, for the first time, Mia is on top of the pyramid. It's been a long time coming. I didn't think I would ever live to see this day. You were on top of this pyramid because of your hard work and your determination all week long. To me, that's sometimes more important than any trophy. And you shine. Your mother isn't always here, but she does make sure that you're here. And you can see the improvement. I'm very happy I'm on the top of the pyramid this week. <laughs> this week, you're going to be doing a solo. Holly, she's going to perform, act, and look like a princess. Like I tell everybody else, it's tough getting here. It's even more difficult to stay here. Moving on to the group number. We are going to do a dance. It's called Head Over Heels. It's about falling in love and getting married. As an artist, I draw my inspiration from the world around me. And I think that Melissa has a little secret. So hopefully, once she sees this number, she's going to realize that everybody knows her secret. Yes? Aren't I too young to get married? <laughs> <laughs> I just got engaged, but I like to keep my private life private. You're going to be dressed as brides. So I want your dads to be at the competition as if they were giving their daughters away. All right, you're dismissed. Thank you very much. Girls, when outside Triple Ballet Pirouette. That's what I want to see. It's in the number. I can't believe what just happened with Jill. I think Jill's going back to her old studio. No. Yeah. So oh, I do too. And I also think that she's going to go back there and she's going to kind of dish the dirt. And I think that we're going to run into them. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if we run into them soon. I feel horrible for Jill. It's hard being a dance mom and making these tough decisions. I hope she comes back. I'm not all that shocked. Jill didn't really bond with us. Kendall, I thought, fit the group very well. And yes. I thought Kendall is a good little dancer. I think she held her I think, yeah, I I think she held that Jill's going to regret walking out of there. It was like a spur of the moment. Like, I'm pissed yeah, well, off. She I'm can't leaving. come back now after that. Well, I'm kind of disappointed she didn't get a chance to see me at the top of the pyramid after she talked about it. I know. It. I'm really kind of disappointed about that. If she kept saying that she'd never pretty much amount to that. Open. Big reach, big reach, and in. Step, jump, slide. This week, I'm doing a solo called I'll Do Anything For You. It's an acro routine, and that's one of my strongest styles of dance, and I'm just really excited. If I were Magellan, Push. I would sail straight up to heaven and find you. It's true. So excited about Nia. Did you see the girls? They were. Oh. Yeah. As soon as she wasn't on the last row. I know. Not even that she's at the top of the pyramid. You know what I was excited for? The kids are doing an epic dance. Like, oh, that's right. Exactly. Dance. Nia, listen. You've worked hard. You've worked hard in ballet class. You've waited a long time for this pretty dance with me. And I'll tell you what. Don't screw it up, kid. Melissa, you have to be upset. You're, I mean, you were friends. You are mm -hmm. friends with Jill. Mm -hmm. And you guys were like buddies. I am upset. I mean, I, you know, I just think it's the wrong decision. I, I don't think know how she's you make a snap decision like that. I think she'll be back. Jill didn't mean it. She doesn't want to leave. She'll be back. I'm going to try to call Jill. Let's see. Yeah, poor Kendall was upset. Yeah. She was, she she don't was upset. She was crying. hate to see a kid cry. <gasps> oh, my God. She sent me a text. What'd she say? Kendall and I deserve better. I'm not coming back. Sorry to leave you to the wolves. I just don't want this for Kay. I'm going back to my old studio where they like Kendall. No, she didn't say that. I told you she was going back there. It didn't take her long to make that decision. No, I'm that she... was fast. Uh, hello. Let's call a spade a spade. She's a studio hopper, so it's time to hop back to the old one. You know what? Frankly, I don't want somebody like that around us and our kids. So I say, good riddance. Listen, Kendall, I'm not putting up with this crap anymore. I can't have you at a place that doesn't appreciate you and all they do is tear you down. That probation is ridiculous. You did nothing wrong. It was my fault she should put me on probation, not you. We're done at Abby's. I'm taking you somewhere where they are gonna appreciate you. Hello? This 
is Jill Vertes from Abby's. Uh-huh. I'm fed up with Abby. I can't go back there. And I really need a dance studio where they're going to train my child. I was wondering if you could take a look at Kendall and tell me what you think of her talents and if you could find a place for her on your team. If you want to come to Candy Apples, then I am here for you. But I need to be 100% sure that all of your ties are severed from Abby Lee Dance Company. Down, hip down. Five, four, come on, try that knee. Three, two, one, and finish. Other side. I heard about the engagement. So, are you going to be in the wedding? You think I'm going to be in the wedding? My mom is engaged, but she wants to keep it quiet. Chloe, work on your solo. Okay. Maddie, same thing, work on your solo. Think about the corrections. You should. Work on your pirouettes and your rumber stage hearts. Okie doke. All right. Let's everybody get to where we need to be. Can't believe you're not more excited about the wedding. What do you think of the ring? Beautiful. I love the story. No, story. don't say it. What story? Nothing. They weren't even supposed to talk about Wait a minute. What story? Nothing. Come here. Mackenzie, shh, tell me the story. Come here. I don't know what story. You lie. We're not supposed to tell Abby anything. She's a blabbermouth. What? No, seriously, I don't know the story. You don't know the story? What's Chloe? She's a weirdo. What's she making up? I don't know what story they're talking tell me about. Tell the story. Kids, come on. Come on. We tell, gotta tell Chloe I want the story. Come here. Um, Send Chloe hey, Chloe, here. Abby wants the story. No, don't. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> I actually I like, like this one. Now. So the moms and I went to Babette's bridal shop so we could get some inspiration for this bridal dance that we're doing. Are we doing long veils for the girls or short veils? I want somebody to try this one on. Like, I'm and we got awfully sidetracked. <laughs> that is a poofy, poofy dress. <gasps> is that a wedding dress? I'm assuming. I want to wear it. No. Julie, I want to wear it at. Oh, yeah. See, I remember going shopping for my wedding dress with my mom and my me sister. Too. It was me, my mom, my sister, and my grandmother. And the first dress I came out in. That was that it? I bought it. That's well, it. My first vows, of all, if I got married again, I wouldn't be wearing a big wedding gown. No, you wouldn't do that? Nope. Oh, no, somebody tried that one on. I like that one over there. I used to get excited when I looked at wedding dresses. I really don't anymore. Why are you lying? We all know you're engaged, so why won't you just admit it? You want to go in first? Yeah. No. Welcome to my world, no panties. <laughs> You're a bride! Oh. What's that one? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I've trying on a wedding dress. Me neither! I came here for headpieces. You look skinny. You look really skinny in that. It's because it hides your butt. <laughs> Sorry. She wants to get married again, and she wants a big rock. That's right. Maybe you should renew your vowels. Vowels. <laughs> I think you need to say, will you marry me again? Yeah, but Melissa, you're the one who has a chance of getting married again, not me. I'm not wearing a wedding dress. <laughs> oh, that's I don't so know. Sweet. I think if I was getting married again, I'd have to have the bird thing grow. I like the bird face. cage, too. You have to hide your wrinkles? <gasps> no, she did. <laughs> <laughs> to join the Candy Apples. I haven't really seen their studio, but I want to dance at a place where they actually respect me and they like me as a dancer. Hi! Hey. Welcome! Well, thank you. When Jill called and wanted to bring Kendall over to the dance studio, I was thrilled. I mean, why wouldn't I be? It's a win-win situation. You're not nervous, are you? No. Okay, good. Well, okay. maybe a little, but that's oh. OK. That's don't be normal. nervous. It, it, don't be nervous. That. You don't have to be nervous. So come on, let's All go. Right. They're actually having an acro class right now. Should we take our shoes off? In our in our studio? Oh, honey, we have a cleaning lady that cleans okay, the floor so every night. Okay. You don't need to worry about it. All right. No screaming and yelling about that here. May we I have come? The, the cleaning lady comes every night. All right. Kendall misses her friends back at Abby's. I had to explain to her why this was a good decision to bring her out here, because Kathy is going to give her what she needs and what she wants 
to be a good dancer. Looking to join? No, I need join a studio. A I need a group of kids she can dance with. I, oh, okay. I so you're coming here under the assumption that you you might want to just go ahead and join with us. Absolutely. And become an apple. I need, I need fun, a studio. Kathy takes a look at Kendall. She sees her potential right away. Okay. She sees what this little girl can do, okay. what she can bring to a solo or a group number. This is great. This is exactly what I needed. A little something that we're doing this weekend, and I don't want to put any pressure on you whatsoever. I have an adorable little solo that I think would be very fitting for her. And the funny thing about it is, dare I say, we're going to go to Pittsburgh. This week's fire and ice competition just got a little bit more interesting. That'll give you an opportunity to just join in and be with us, even though you won't be in a group number. Kathy gives Kendall a solo right off the bat. This was Kathy's way of telling me that she appreciates me and my daughter, she has respect for us, and she knows that Kendall's a good dancer. This is good. And one, hit, two, hit, three, hit, four. Give me something, now. come on, girls. We do a lot of contemporary and lyrical in competitions because that's like the biggest fad right now. But it's nice to also do some novelty numbers. And Head Over Heels is a novelty routine. Right. Ooh, that's good. Oh, just practicing. Hello. I know. Hello. Hello. Hey, what are you up to? What's on Mackenzie's top? Are those bats? They're puppies. They look like bats from here. Don't cross your fingers. Oh, those hands. Who's your manicurist? She should be out of work. Girls. Three more days. We need to get this choreography fixed. Got it? Fire and ice. Three more days. Go back to the top. Let's do it. There's a story and a theme. The girls are brides. They hold nosegays. They might even wear garters. One, two, up, up, down, down, jump over, don't catch feet, push. I'm inviting the dads to come and watch the competition. It's as though they're giving away their daughters. But instead of giving them to some guy that's never going to be good enough, he's going to give them to the world of dance. I want to marry dance, but I don't. <laughs> if I had to marry someone, I would marry Justin Bieber. Girls, remember, your dads are coming to the competition. They complain about all the money you spend, all the hours you spend here at the studio, all the outfits, all the rhinestones. Your dad's going to sit in that audience and watch you. You want him to say, oh my god, look at my kid up there. It's all worth it. It's all worth it to see her up on that stage. Look what she's accomplished. Look how good she is. I really hope that Chloe's dad can make it, but I think the bigger question on everyone's mind is, who is Melissa going to bring to represent? Is she going to bring the dad? We're the sugar dad, D. Their dad's not coming. Really? He's not going to be here, so. Kurt's not coming at all? Mm-mm. This is the one time the dads are asked to come and participate with their girls. And Melissa can't put the drama aside. It always has to be about her. Did you not want him to come? No, he's not coming, because he's going to be at a hockey tournament. OK. Will Greg come? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. No way. If Kurt can't come, why wouldn't you just bring I her? wouldn't want to hurt Kurt's Kurt. feeling, you know? But Mark if he coming. couldn't be there, would, he, would his feelings be hurt? If he knew that Greg did it, yes. Well, I, I don't know why you wouldn't bring Greg. I, I mean, I they live with I, Greg, I Melissa. Know. I mean, I would love for him to be there, but absolutely not. I don't know why Melissa goes crazy every time she hears Kurt's name. I mean, he is still Maddie and Mackenzie's dad. So they still need to have some kind of relationship just for the girls. I can't wait to see how our headpieces are all going to look. Oh, I have something that I'm going to bring to you tomorrow. Um, I think I have a white thing you might want to use. I don't know. OK. Oh, it would have been so cool if I had my gown. You guys could have, we could have cut it up because it has so many beautiful pieces to it. But you should have saved it. Your kids probably would have wanted it. Even if they didn't wear it, they just for a keepsake. Right. Well, they can help you pick out a new dress. There won't be any new dresses. Thank 
you so much, I'm Jill. Hi, it's so nice to meet it's you. I'm a little nervous walking in here, and I meet the moms, and they all welcome me with open arms. They're so nice. They're so polite. <laughs> Kendall, okay, have fun. Okay. All right. It's just been a battlefield at that studio. It's a different beast over there. Beast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Some sparkling apple cider. This is so different from the battlefield the first day I walked into Abby's. Cheers. Aww, cheers to you. These guys actually want me to be there. And they're really welcoming. This is really nice to be on the other end of receiving. Apple toast. Thank apple you toast. for welcoming me. Cheers. 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 Girls. Thank cheers. you. So why don't we start in the corner? Um, let's put your hands behind your back. And let's just do two walks. One, two, three for them. Kendall just wants to dance. She was not doing that enough at Abby's. Pirouette up and over. Pirouette. Now she's dancing. Your second leg is bent. Can you straighten it out for me? And straighten. Oh, yeah. See how when you give nice corrections, you get results. I like you. So. Does Abby and the moms know you came here? They have no idea. And guess what? I don't care. I know that when she finds out, she's going to be probably more angry than hurt. And maybe she'll feel the anger that I felt when she belittled my child in front of everybody Karma. for no reason. Do you happen to know who's at the top of the pyramid? I think it's Nia. Oh, it's Nia that's at, really? Well, if Nia is at the top of the pyramid, you know what that means. She is probably going to be doing a solo. That means that you and her are going to be going head to head. OK. OK? Kendall is really going to kick butt. And Abby, she's going to miss Kendall being part of her competition team. So um, are you going to feel badly if you go head to head against Nia? Yeah, I guess. I'm really doing this for Kendall. And if this is the only way I can get Abby to see what Kendall can do, then this is what it's got to be. Neo, this is it. I don't want to see any mistakes in this number. Go. Chasse, me, me. A lot is riding on this solo for Nia. It's an important solo for her, and she needs to get her act together. I'm a little confused. Is Melissa engaged? Oh, well, she has a ring on. Exactly. But today and yesterday, she didn't. I hope that's not a friendship ring. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a nice friend. Yeah. I want to meet a friend like that. <laughs> have a friend. Uh, he needs to buy me another one of those. Because <laughs> you're other hands along with. I want to have friend. another friend. <laughs> Melissa has a big rock on her finger. And I don't know why she's being so secretive about it. It's like, I mean, every time I ask her about it, she's just like, oh, it's no big deal. Hand, hand. Don't go so far. It's awkward. And then this weekend, you know, the dads are invited, and she's wearing another man's engagement ring. Yeah, I wonder if Kurt knows. I, and I thought maybe that's she why didn't the tell ring us. keeps coming on. And I can't on. imagine her exactly. telling Kurt. These people are all going to have to come to terms with things because there's two little girls involved, exactly. and they're going to exactly. have a long time growing up if they don't exactly. get along. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's so forthcoming. I'll tell you well, everything about her body, nooks, crevices, desires, <laughs> taboos, <laughs> all of that. Fair oh, game. That she thinks of sex and throbs. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I mean, I know that she's plainly shaved down there, but she won't tell me she's engaged. Hello? That's a little too personal. <laughs> a little too personal. I feel like you're crossing the line. <laughs> competition because it's here in Pittsburgh. So it's always nice when we get to stay home. I have more time with Broadway Baby, and they are always thrilled to see the Abby Lee Dance Company. Hey. I mean, come on. It's the Abby Lee Dance Company. I'm not excited about competing in Pittsburgh because everybody knows Abby. Everybody hates Abby. Girls, I need not say how important it is here. Yes? We all know what's on the line. It's fire and ice. Every one of those people are my friends. I've known them for years. But even though you're friends, there's still 
competitive like your girlfriend at school. We've just arrived at the fire and ice competition, and Abby and all of those moms aren't going to know what hit them when they see my secret little weapon. I'm a little nervous walking into this competition with candy apples. I'm gonna be the one looking over my shoulder. I'm afraid Christy and Kelly might come after me with a shotgun. Now what I wanna see with you, um, I wanna take a look at your solo since it's new. My goal here is to have Kendall stand out. Do I think I'm gonna get Abby's attention? Yes. I'm gonna do a little more liner and a little more on her cheeks. Okay, and you know what? We do little wings. Could you please do Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Do you have any loose rhinestones? We do little rhinestones with the eye just to add a little glimmer. I know I'm gonna see Abby, and I just wanna say to her, do you see what you made me do? Oh, you don't have eyeshadow on, Jill? No. Okay, purple. We do purple. Purple shadow? Purple Yeah, no. This candy apple green room is a lot different than the one at Abby's. Close. But I mean, are you dabbling? Uh, well, I... I was contemplating purple with her orange costume, but oh. I trust you. Close. Mm. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. There's no screaming or yelling or crying. I don't have to, like, be looking over my shoulder, feeling the knife in my back at any second. I can relax and take care of my child. Stand up tall, honey. Kendall. Walk in there like you own yeah, the place. And that's right, and you need to just be, because you're so relieved and you're so happy right now, because you don't have a whole lot of crappy pressures on you. Let's go. to see Kendall and Jill with candy apples. I mean, I kind of wanted to cry because it didn't like seem right, but I think she fits better with us. All right, well, we have a solo that we have to go perform. All of a sudden, it hits me. That's Nia's competition. I felt like I had been punched in the stomach. Oh, Kendall, let's go this way. Anybody else shocked? I can't say I'm really all that shocked that Jill's with candy apples. I mean, it was only a matter of time before she pop, 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 over to somewhere I, new. I think she's but... pretty desperate to go to candy apples. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I wouldn't yeah. think that that's where she would go. I would think she would move further, like, towards New York. I'm feeling pretty betrayed to see someone who I thought was on my team walk through the door on the competition team. You know it's going to be a problem. Guess who she's going to be up against? Yeah. I mean, I bet she's going to do a solo. I feel like... Jill has become the ultimate traitor. To put her daughter up to dance against a teammate, she was a teammate of ours. Who does that? Well, I hope Nia has a great time. She too. On stage, that's the most important thing. That's all thing. that matters. That's all that matters. At this point, that's all we have to keep telling our kids. It's all about having fun. We're Bye! Right. Kill everybody! I don't know how much fun it is to compete against someone who's your former teammate. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, yeah. we're funny the dads have got here. Maybe Greg will surprise you. Maybe. It yeah. happen. <laughs> I think this meeting is adjourned. Okay. <laughs> So I just wanted to tell you that, you know, I was really reluctant when you called because um, I don't like to uh, engage in Abby's sloppy seconds. I hope you're feeling welcome. I am. Everybody's been really nice. Thank you. Hi, Nia. Hi, Kendall. You're dancing with candy apples? Yeah. I was really excited to perform my solo because I just wanted to see Abby's face. You have a solo, too? Yes. I like your crown. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a princess. Good luck. You too. I'm a little nervous to have a solo against Kendall, but I'm going to try very, very hard to make it my best. 
Please welcome to the stage participant number 20. This is Nia performing to I'll Do Anything For You. Sail straight up to heaven and find you. It's true. If I were John Lennon, I would ask the world to imagine loving you. If I could for you. Watching Nia on stage was an incredible experience for me. I am not a person who cries easily. I'm not one who gets very emotional, but she looked like a princess. She looked beautiful. She looked happy. She owned that stage, and she was dancing with such joy and passion and energy. It was her moment, and I knew what it took for her to get to that place. I was just so proud of her. And when the stars come by the cross, red velvet sky, I'll catch them all and bring them did everything right on the money. She just needs to work on her technique, straightening her legs, stretching her feet. Abby just couldn't see her potential, her talent. All she did was pick out her flaws. Kendall has a solo coming up. She's against Nia in the same age category. You know, Kathy didn't have to put Kendall up against Nia. Kathy knows that Nia deserves a chance to shine. And that was just a really rotten, shady thing to do. Judges, our next competitor comes to us from Candy Apples Dance Center. This is Kendall performing to I Think I Like You. performer and the routine is certainly dynamic because she's doing my routine with my costume and the kids only been gone from my studio for a week what did Kathy teach her nothing Kathy is a worm danced well. I knew it watching her from my seat. Kendall danced well. I hope that the judges see what I saw in Nia. You did good, Nia. I know. You did so good, Nia. Yeah. Like, ten like, times better than ten. I can't even tell you. Your face was just like you I know. Loved you looked like you were having just the time of your life. able to come? I can't. I have a meeting. I can't get to. Oh. OK. Well, Chloe understands. My dad can't come to the competition today, but that's OK, because I know he, he tried his hardest to get here. Hi, Chloe. How are you? Good. I love you. I love you, too. I'll just tell him when I get home all about it. I'm really excited because the wedding costume is my favorite costume of the year so far. It's gorgeous, and I'm excited because I just got engaged, so it's kind of fun for me. I wanted to catch the flowers, but the other girls did before I could. Your makeup, Don't put it out. You're making me. 
Okay, let's not talk to her. Please, please, I don't want to. We're going, ready to go on stage. Just leave her alone. It doesn't matter about the dance. I do. It matters about me. It does matter about you. <laughs> My emotional, you're so Stop cute. It, Mom. You're so cute, honey. Hey, Stop. don't cry. All right, it's time. Don't forget your dads are out there. From the Abby Lee Dance Company, please welcome to the stage number 201 Junior Group. This is Head Over Heels. he could watch me dance. Apples Dance Center, please welcome number 287. This is a funeral. Kathy actually may have some good dancers at her studio. The problem is, is they're just old. Kathy needs to put Vivi and her two little friends in there to bring the age down. And who runs into a funeral and does an arabesque? Vivian. In our junior small groups, we have a first place overall award, and that is going to number 288, head over here. The girls actually got a platinum in their performance, and they won the overall high score for the junior groups. For your first place overall junior soloist, number 21, I Think I Like You. My child was set up. It was like I had been blindsided, and I'm not sure what game is being played between Jill, Candy Apples, Kathy, and Abby, for that matter, but my daughter's not a pawn in this whole game. This is real for her, and I felt like she was a pawn in their bigger game that they were playing at my daughter's expense. Where's Mia? Mia, what's up? Mia, what's wrong? I did really want to win because my dad was there, but it will come again. You could not have been more beautiful. You should be proud of yourself. You did the number. You finished it. Hold your chin up high. You have nothing to be embarrassed about. Not at all, sweetie. Not at all. People who don't cry crying. Why are we crying and pouting? And I see one kid in tears, one kid pouting, and one kid sitting on their dad's lap. Don't carry it into the dressing room. You go home, you cry into your pillow, you figure out what you did wrong, and you don't make the same mistakes again. Jill, we would like to present you with a Candy Apples Dance Mom jacket. So this is for you. And, you know, we want you to have this. I feel great that there's no such thing as probation at Candy Apples. I don't have that hanging over my head. And you know what? Kendall feels great, too, because she can go out and dance and do her thing and not be afraid to do great. Where are you leaving? I need a break. 
What well, just happened out there? You know I was wrong. She did a beautiful job. She did. And a child who has been off. This kid has been working her tail off. Yeah. Late I at night. I think it is not, it's not a reflection of her job. Outstanding. No. Right. I just do not like the way that played itself out. Mm -hmm. It's tough enough having to deal with Abby, but I've learned over the years how to handle her. But when it comes to my daughter's happiness, I don't want to have to go up against Jill and Kathy, too. Oh, Get God, here they come. Here they come. come on, Kathy, you have parting words? We may be number two, and we may be trying harder, but Abby, there will come a day when we beat you because you have six kids that you have to worry about. I have 306. Kathy, how do you still have that membership when you solicit students? Um, I'm not soliciting anybody, Abby. She came to me at her own free will. She called me up and said that you were a witch. Kathy makes my blood boil. You went as Candy Apples Dance Center today, so that was a win for Candy Apples. I don't remember. The dance world doesn't have rules. So Kathy can poach any student that she wants, but Jill made a big, big mistake. Big. Yes, I think there's I some other it. studios in Ohio that got in big trouble for stealing choreography. Oh, uh, believe me, Abby, I wouldn't want to steal your choreography. Really? Let's go, guys.